What a great combo. It's staying later longer and the, to the weather outside is totally cooperating. So how can you use that time mm -hmm. to benefit yourself best psychologically? Dr. Sheila Raja is here with some answers. She's a clinical psychologist at UIC. Always nice to have you, Dr. Nice Raja. Nice to be here. Hi. First of all, what is the boost to our mental health? Uh, it, just because of the weather, people seem happier. Yeah, there's definitely a connection between more sunlight and our mood, that's for sure. So it's great to take advantage of it. Like Derek said, get outside and enjoy the weather and try you know with the time change it's great to tie good health habits into the time change um, take care of your house and your home is what I like to say you know um, it sounds strange but you flip your clocks forward so go ahead and check your smoke detectors your co2 detectors you know change pillows because of asthma allergy mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and make your doctor's appointments. But I know in the past we've heard reactions of people that it actually has an adverse reaction to some people when you change those clocks. Does it not? You, you lose that hour and people kind of start the work, work week off on a wrong foot? Yes, definitely the first you know week or two after the time change can be tough. And so it's important to try to plan a little bit ahead to get a little bit of extra rest. You're right. I mean, we get benefits, but not right away. Is there some psychological boost too to doing some spring cleaning and tackling those home projects? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, there is uh, a certain Certain amount of clutter that for a lot of people is just too much to be able to function and so if you start to feel like you know I can't make decisions about whether to clear things out or what um, this is a good time to try to sort through your house yes like what steps would you suggest to people well I think the most important things are you know go ahead and try three different piles you know stuff that you want to keep stuff that you're gonna give and donate or stuff that goes into the garbage if you're having trouble doing that try to enlist the help of friends or family members to do that. And get Good outside point. and enjoy today. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Sheila Raja, thanks so much for being with us. And Thank we're going to talk to you a little bit later this hour about the psychological impact for the Blagojevich family right now. And if you have a question for Dr. Raja, you can send an email at asktheexperts at cbs.com.